Hello, this is Jean from Z Panel Community in Open Source. Uh, welcome again for another episode on how to install open source uh, applications. Let's start. Don't forget to follow me on Blogger or on Twitter. And I would like to say thank you to Tat Smith that uh, they hooked me up with a brand new Camtasia Studio uh, application. Really, really good. Please download the trial and if you like it, buy the license. Let's start. Today I'm going to show you how to install XAMPP, but in a portable way. That means we're going to install it on a USB pen. I'm going to download the light version. The only reason why I'm downloading the light version is because, um, I'm going to say that to you now. I'm only using one gigabyte uh, pen, but if you're using a bigger one, say for example, four gig and up, you can download the the full version, this one here. Okay, let's start to download this one. I'm going to download the this version here, the older one, uh, and I'm going to download the zip file, and I'm going to save it. Alright, I'm deleting the 6 megabyte per second. Quite slow, I think, today. Here we go, I'm going to uh, show in folder. And I'm going to... What I'm going to do now, I'm going to move this file and this folder. Okay, okay. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to open up my computer and the USB, as you can see, is 1 gig. Now, I already got this file. I'm going to show you how to install this file after, where to download it as well. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to extract the content with the actual directory into the pen. Now, this is the file you need to download to make the exam server run on a USB pen. And first of all, anyway, I will make sure that all the links will be below as well, the in the description. Now, If you excuse me, I don't remember. Here we go. That's what I put out. So anyway, I download this one here. And here the launcher. That's you need to click on and save it. And there we go. That's the one we want. I'm going again. Show you folder. This one. But anyway, I'm going to delete it because I already got it anyway. Now let's go back on the main screen. It's nearly done. Now this installation really takes a lot of space. So this is the reason why I said, please use it big, as big as you can really, or as big as you can afford. I usually use this to uh, when I develop websites for myself, it's a lot easier to use than a proper server, you know, like the Z-Panel. Although the Z-Panel is a great panel and use, um, I usually use it on CentOS and I use it on Apache. This is exactly the same, but it's a very low, you know, it's just small to run on the actual pen. It's also very expandable uh, if you wanted to. Here we go. Now we've done this. Now I think it's copying. Exactly. Now it's copying to the pen. It's going to take a little bit while. So what I'm going to do now. Here we go. That's beautiful. Like Camtasia. I'm going to pause it for a while and I'm going to resume it soon. See you in a bit.
All right, it's nearly done. There we go, we got the actual folder be moved. Now I'm going to close this up. All right, now this is the actual folder that has been extracted. Everything looks all right. Now I'm going to double click on this file that I downloaded. I'm going to choose the language, English. Okay. Then next. Now I need to put the destination folder. Logically that is ZOM. Press OK. And press install. Now everything's ready to be started. Click on Sam's folder logically, and I'm going to click on the launcher. I'm going to make sure that it's in English. I save it. Counts as two languages, English and German. I'll minimize this. And there we go, we got Apache, MySQL, and Tomcat. You can have a file Zilla and everything. But you need to, uh, I think you need to download the actual full version. Now I'm going to do, click on start on Apache. And logically I'm running a firewall, so I need, you don't need to do this step. The step. So what I'm going to do, just MySQL there. There we go. Both green. Now let's see if they work. Now I'm going to type localhost. And as you can see, it works. I don't know why it says NJX. Ah, yes, I did another installation. Anyway, this is the example. I'm going to press on English. And there we go. As you can see, we got a full version of example uh, for Windows running on a pen. Perfectly. You can access lo with localhost. Oh, by the way, don't forget, you got OpenSSL inclusive on this, as you can see, where you can have your own uh, certificate if you want to, but anyway, this is perfect, as you can see here, everything is encrypted, lovely. Next video I'm going to do, uh, hopefully I can do it within the next week anyway, I'm going to show you how to install some of the applications on your new server running on a pen. Thanks again guys, don't forget to subscribe on my channel, I got 151, come on guys, I need a thousand people, come on, help me here, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter too, and again, uh, let me thanks Tetch Smith, that they hooked me up with a copy of Camtasia Studio 8, I will add a link to my description where you can download your own copy. Uh, logically it's going to be a 30 days trial. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you share. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Take care guys.